Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are working on number four of the MA readiness test. So this question says, one of the solutions of x squared plus 8x equals negative 12 is. So a couple things to note. First of all, um, I noticed that this leading term is an x squared term. That means that this function is going to have a parabolic shape. So it's gonna look something like a parabola. So let's say something like that. And when it is talking about the solutions, it's talking about where the parabola is going to cross the x-axis. So these are called solutions, they're called roots, sometimes they're even called zeros. Not all parabolas will have roots, but we'll save that for another video. So now that we know what we're looking for, let's go ahead and set this equal to zero and factor it. So in order to factor this, we're gonna have to figure out the factors of 12, and factors are just two numbers that multiply to equal this number, that multiply to 12 and add to eight. So we have one times 12, we have two times six, we have three times four, and then just the numbers reversed. So since this is positive, these numbers have to either both be positive or both be negative. In this case, they're gonna be positive because our middle term is positive. So I'm gonna set it up like so. And this here is the only combination that when added together will give me eight. So I know this is going to be x plus two, x plus six, so now to find the solutions, I'm going to set this term equal to zero. And I'm going to set this term equal to zero. And that's because whenever you're multiplying two things, if this one is zero, the whole thing is zero. But also, if this part is zero, the whole thing is zero. So that's why we separate them like that and set each one equal to zero. So now if I look at my answer choices over here, I find that I have x equals negative six, and that would be the right answer. So for those of you that wanna stick around for just a second, I'm gonna explain what the graph of this would look like, um, but if not, then that's basically how you solve it, and that's an easy, simple explanation. Okay, so if we were to graph this parabola, and we know the roots are x equals negative two and x equals negative six, Basically what that would tell us is let's say this is negative two and that's negative six. This parabola is actually gonna look something like that. So not that it's super important, but this is just a really good way to graph a parabola. It kind of gives us an idea of where it lies. And again, these are called solutions, sometimes called zeros or sometimes called roots. All right, well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.